Um, and I'm just going to kind of go through the setup before I let it play. Um, but the offense is split up into two teams here. Um, there are three guys versus three other guys um, going up and back. Um, you see the mini nets, and they are placed five yards below the restraining box up top and then 15 yards away from that one um, facing each other. There are lines of, of, uh, of our team on either side. You cannot see right now the black team. Um, they are cut off at this angle, uh, but, the, uh, but that's kind of the setup of the drill. I believe this was actually the first time we did this, um, and the reason I, did, I, I, wanted to, um, I wanted to show the first time that we did it last fall um, or last spring or, or whatever it was, I believe, I believe it was last fall, um, was because you're going to see some of the growing pains and some of the times where I had to tweak um, the drill to make sure it was going in the correct way. Um, and just to, be before I do kind of start letting it play, uh, the purpose of this um, was to heighten our level of urgency um, off the ball, with the ball, to demand, uh, demand the ball in your stick, to communicate um, and to change from one mistake uh, to making the next play. So like that level of urgency was the purpose. So you'll notice um, a lot of the times that I stop it, it's because of that, not because of a turnover, not because of a bad shot, not because of poor movement, but because of that lack of urgency that we needed to correct in that moment. So again, I'll let it play a little bit and then I'll go backwards. Um, I think I'll be able to use this. Uh, Matt, just let me know if this isn't coming through very clear. Looks good right now. Okay. So really quick, ball can only come in from your sideline. So I'll just start it from here. Uh, obviously, I know that the uh, black team started with the ball. Ball can come in from their sideline um, only to the goalie. So it can't break up to somebody who is playing defense up here, um, but it can come into the goalie. And then it's just going to go back and forth. If the ball hits the ground, it's dead. If the ball's in the goal immediately that goalie needs to be demanding the ball from the first person in line um, uh, who's on their team. So you see black on offense, right? We're playing our concepts moving. And now as soon as that happens, blue's demanding the ball right there. Ball hits the ground. It's out. Ball coming into the other goalie. And now it's kind of just a continuous drill that goes back and forth. So our body language at which we want the ball, our ability – to demand the ball go from one thing to another. And again, like I'm not really working necessarily on exactly what we're doing on offense, but I am working on exactly what 33 just did right here. So you see 33 trying to make a play. Um, I, you know, again, I, I'm not overly focused on the defense of this and, and if a goal goes in, but watch his, his urgency as soon as he gets scored on or a shot goes off to get the ball and get it out and go make a play again. Seven did not ask for the ball quickly enough, so he doesn't actually get an inbound, uh, get the ball inbounded to him. And you see me here kind of making that tweak, making sure that guys are demanding the ball more consistently when they have the opportunity to go play offense with their body language. And then they're making shot decisions for sure. They're moving the ball for sure. Really what I want, wanted them to be focused on is our urgency getting from one side to the other, or urgency subbing on and off the field, our communication to go get the ball, and it's going to put them in <clears throat> kind of random situations throughout that. You see it as it go, continues to go. I think you get the flow of the drill. So we'll do this for about, you know, I don't know, we'll go maybe four-minute halves, um, you know, where we'll go four minutes in a row. I'll let them kind of gather up at a halftime for a minute to talk, talk through – um, what was working, what wasn't working, or if I have to make a point. Um, but, you know, it's a good drill, um, I think, in a good environment to kind of, you know, again, really emphasize our communication, our urgency, um, and the pace at which we go from one one job to the next.